Hello, my name is Amos Meeks. I'm a member of the steering team of Clean Heat for Arlington, and today I want to tell you about Warrant Article Number 5, which asks to file a home rule legislation that would allow the town of Arlington to create a bylaw amendment that would prohibit fossil fuel infrastructure in new construction and gut root renovations. First, some background on this bylaw. So our goal is to reach 100% clean energy by 2050. And this is mandated by both a state law, the Global Warming Solution Act, which commits us to reduce our emissions by 80% by 2050, and in 2018 when the Arlington Select Board voted to set a goal of net zero by 2050. Fortunately, the recipe for reaching 100% clean energy is relatively simple. We electrify everything and we green the grid. So if we look at Arlington's total emissions, we see that the vast majority of our emissions, about 60%, come from buildings, residential buildings and industrial buildings. And of this, the vast majority of this is space heating. So we want to focus space on space heating as a place to start. Fortunately, electric solutions for space heating exist in the form of heat pumps. Heat pumps are very different from electric resistance heaters that you might um, think of, which are expensive and inefficient. Instead, they're more like an air conditioning unit that can heat as well as cool. And because they just move heat around, in terms of heating efficiency, they can be incredibly efficient. Um, something like 200 or 300 percent efficient. In addition, cold climate air source heat pumps work in our climate. They're rated to be highly efficient down to 5 degrees Fahrenheit, and many of them work down to negative 17 or even negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit, and it simply does not get that cold around here. And they work as the sole source of heating. In 2017, a large portion of new homes in Massachusetts used a heat pump as the only source of heating and cooling, and even in Arlington, in Arlington, there are many buildings that use heat pumps as their sole source of heating without backup heat. Heat pumps are also affordable. So this study in 2018 modeled a house um, being installed with gas and electric air conditioning compared to a, a house using an electric air source heat pump and a heat pump hot water heating. And what they found is that the installation cost differed by less than $1,000, which in the case um, that they were looking at of a large single family um, house, newly built, con newly constructed house, this difference, cost difference shown in this red slice here is tiny compared to the overall value of the house. In addition, they found a small difference in annual operating cost. But again, for a new 3000 square foot home, if you look at the monthly expenses and compare that difference, which is this red sliver at the top here, it's pretty much negligible. So in the case of these large New, new construction single family houses, the difference in, co in cost ends up being more or less a wash. But of course, some people can't afford to pay anything at all. Fortunately, affordable housing is already leading the way on heating electrification. These are some examples of buildings um, outside of Arlington that use heat pumps as their sole source of heating and cooling. But even within Arlington, all of the affordable housing construction projects that are being planned or built by the Housing Corporation of Arlington use heat pumps as their sole source of heating and cooling. And this is often because for the sort of um, high density, high efficiency new construction being built for affordable housing, heat pumps are just already the most economical option. So to get into what this bylaw actually proposes, we would prohibit new fossil fuel piping in new construction and gut renovations. This would not affect existing buildings that are not undergoing some kind of uh, gut renovation. It would not affect kitchen renovations or other sort of renovations that are not literally stripping the entire inside of the building down to the studs and rebuilding it. And it would not affect additions. We also include a number of practical and common sense exemptions. This bylaw would affect only the customer side of um, the fossil fuel piping. All gas cooking appliances are exempted. Backup generators are exempted. Since it deals with fossil fuel piping, it would not affect uh, propane fossil fuel cooking, such as uh, outdoor grills. Um, hot water for large buildings is exempted due to uh, technical reasons. Um, and in addition, research and medical facilities are exempted also due to technical reasons. And of course, uh, repair um, of existing and unsafe piping is exempted. And to be clear, this only affects fossil fuel piping. So any modifications can be done to the water side of a water heating system without this bylaw coming into effect. However, this may not um, account for all cases. And so in order to avoid any sort of undue expense or burden, um, anyone can seek a waiver for the bylaw. 
and the waivers would be in, uh, granted by the building uh, inspector, potentially with consultation with town staff and local energy experts. And finally, as a quick clarification, the reason this needs to be a home rule petition is due to conflicts with existing state law. So over the summer, the Attorney General, Maura Healy, found for a similar bylaw in Brookline that while she uh, strongly supported the policy of this bylaw, um, it does conflict and is preempted by existing state laws. However, home rule petitions are a very common way to deal with these kinds of, kinds of conflicts, as you can see in Articles 11 through 15 of this special town meeting. So with that, from me and everyone else at Clean Heat for Arlington, uh, we hope that you will join us in supporting Warrant Article Number 5, and we would be happy to answer any questions that you might have.